Okay, so uh, I will do the uh, second part here. Yeah. So, so basically, this time we'll do the topological operation on two v four. So we construction and the decomposition. Uh, so first uh, we do the one dimensional sub v four, the two v four. And uh, we'll talk about definition of splitting and swing of two of fours and uh, regular neighbors of one of fours and uh, re reinterpretation of splitting and swing, uh, identification, interpretation of splitting and swing. So I guess for higher dimensions, we don't really have these kind of things yet. So maybe some people should uh, try to do it. Uh, so sort of surgery description, but uh, um, so for higher dimensional manifold, of course, there's a surgery description of higher dimensional manifolds, but not not for OV fours yet. Okay, uh, so this is some somebody who's doing the swing. So yeah, yeah. So uh, basically, this is a reference uh, for uh, this paper. Uh, we'll use this mostly. And uh, so first, we do the classification of. Uh, uh, one dimensional sub of four to two of four. So, uh, so we have uh, so for two of four we have a uh, three types of singularity. So a silver point in an open arc, uh, isolated cone points, isolated. Uh, I mean three types. Sorry, uh, isolated corner reflector points. Okay, so so the singular points of the two dimensional of fours uh, are into three types, right? Mirror points, cone points, and then the corner reflectors, where the end is a dihedral group. Okay, um, so I mean, these are conjugate to these. Uh, so th these are this kind of conjugate description. That's what I mean. Okay, so these are, have a, I, you can think of these as isometries on R2. Okay. Uh, so again, uh, any uh, 12 report is obtained from a smooth surface with corners by uh, silvering some arcs and putting cone points and corner reflectors. The, uh, again, classified by the smooth topology and these uh, patterns of the corners and uh, corner reflectors and boundary patterns of silver arcs, okay. Uh, so <laughs> we recall the, um, uh, uh, one dimensional sub of four of two of four. So we take a sub of four is a subspace x q prime in x q. Uh, so that each uh, point of x q prime. So this is an underlying topological space. Uh, in has a neighborhood uh, with uh, with this model uh, which acts on this uh, u intersect R n where R d where d d is a some proper subspace. Uh, so that this is all for structure. So there, it has some neighborhood with uh, with U U as a, a model open open set in R n, or it could be half of upper open half of uh, upper half space as well. But the finite group has to preserve some uh, subspace here R d, and R d is some uh, proper subspace, and then this becomes a model. Okay, and. Uh, uh, of course, there's some caution map will be the uh, induced uh, so restriction, right? And the gamma prime is the restricted group of uh, gamma to U intersect RN, RD. Or, I mean, this could be also some positive uh, half space as well, right? Uh, and uh, which is in general a uh, caution uh, group, okay? So it, it may not be injective. So usually in sub many for some other books, they usually want this to be injective, but not. I mean, I saw more them, but you don't really need that, okay. And of course, I should say that this could also could be just a quadrant, like a product of some R, R pluses, if you have corners as well, right? Okay. Uh, but uh, I am now just uh, talking about the R, RD case. Yeah. So uh, so the classification of one dimensional sub orbifold in two orbifold. So a uh, compact one orbifold is either a cross arc or a segment, or a segment with one silver point or a segment with two silver uh, end point. So we take um, a compact one orbifold. Uh, then the, it suppose it's connected. Okay, so then the uh, you it may have no singular point. So that means that it could just be a closed circle, right? 
cross arc, which I mean, or the segment. So segment case is as a two boundary points, and the so you can give a silver one point, uh, silvering one endpoint, or you can give the two silver endpoint. Okay, uh, that that's a or 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 nice or. Uh, Okay, I should say there's a plural here. And, uh, so now suppose we want to embed this to a tool before and uh, uh, so how, how do you uh, consider uh, properly and nicely embedded? Okay, so ni nice means that uh, only the boundary goes to the boundary and, uh, and uh, this tangent space has to be transversal to the boundary. So uh, boundary tangent space. Okay, so those those are the terms in uh, Hershey's book. Okay. So uh, uh so no no silver case. So this is like the cross manifold uh, embedding case, and then the embedded cross arc avoiding the boundary or the segment with two ends point in the boundary. So 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 some sort of cross arc or uh, so segment with the uh, two end points in the boundary. So everything here is uh, ordinary points. And the uh, uh, one uh, silver point case is uh, a segment with silver endpoint uh, at the corner point of order two. Uh, I mean, the cone point of order two or silver arc, uh, other point in the boundary. Okay. So one silver point case is uh, just uh, one segment uh, with one singularity. So segment that could be in the cone point in the interior, and the uh, other point is in the boundary. Okay. Or, or it could be that uh, the sing singular point could be in the silver boundary arc, right? Okay. And that that could also happen, right? So there, uh, there is a, and then a two silver point case. Uh, you you have a, a then the segment with two silver point endpoints at corner cone points or or the two or silver arcs. Okay, so it could end at uh, some uh, cone points or other two. Okay, or we could end at the uh, uh, silver arc. Okay, but of course it cannot end at the cone point of order higher than two because the then the the sub manifold condition will be failed, right? So so it has to be uh, order two. Okay, so th those uh, are the only possibility for these compact cases. And I see. So we will only consider nicely embedded as a precondition for this. Okay, uh, otherwise it doesn't make any sense. Probably follows from the sub OV4 condition as well. And uh, uh, so, so we will classify those, but uh, we first had to go to the OV4 uh, or the characteristic okay, of uh, two OV4 uh, due to Satake. So, uh, so we define the Euler characteristic to be the, uh, so you have C is, so suppose C has uh, some sort of uh, open cell decomposition or a triangulation. Uh, smooth triangulation, uh, it, which it has, and then so for each cell you uh, you add one if the local group is trivial. So if the group cons uh, local group of the points of CI has these groups order. So this is invariant under each strata. So right, and then the, so you, you have to divide by the order here, and then you add up by the you have to multiply by the dimension. Okay. So it generalizes the ordinary uh, order characteristic of many forests. Okay, and uh, uh, so what's uh, good about this is that uh, you have any uh, finite cover by another OV4, then the, of course the the uh, Euler characteristic will be uh, R times. If R is a number of sheets or the regular point, so if you to get the regular point of x, and then you count the number in x prime, then the uh, that's the number r, right? Or you can think of it as a degree, right? And uh, uh, well, and maybe it's not a degree because it's not could be non-orientable, right? Anyway, so so then the uh, so it's number of sheets uh, for regular points. Then it's just uh, you have to just multiply by r. Okay, so that's because. So if these are trivial, uh, I mean, if these groups are trivial, then you, so you, for each one of them, you get R of these. So you have to multiply R cells. And if this was um, some non-trivial group, 
uh, but the, then the inverse images will have uh, different groups here. Uh, but uh, if you add up the uh, group, uh, the number of uh, inverse image for some uh, points, not on the singularity nearby in the neighborhood. So in the modern neighborhood, there's always a regular points. So you, you take count the, those numbers, then the, that will be R times the, the, what, what you have here. And then the, and then the group order just basically becomes uh, R, R times that. Okay, so uh, right. Uh, so 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 the so it will be the R times. So you have to multiply these by R times. Okay, so to get the right number. Okay. So uh, so you have to just go through the argument and then you can see that that's the case. And the you. And the order axis of one over four, so for circle is zero because uh, it has a uh, two. Uh, you can do a cell decomposition as in the ordinary case uh, of the topology. And uh, for segment is one, right? Because you have a uh, one edge and then two endpoints, so two minus one. And segment with the uh, one uh, silver point case uh, is one half because uh, you have a. Uh, uh, Right, so you have a, a minus one for the edge and then one uh, for the one endpoint and the other is one half. Okay, so uh, so you get the one plus one half minus one, so you get one half. And then the, for a full one over four, uh, you get the one half minus one, one half, so it's zero. Okay, so that's the uh, uh, So for example, if you have a circle that covers a segment with uh, with the full, it will cover full OV4 by 180 degree, right? So it's two to one cover. So the uh, Euler characteristic of circle is zero. And the, so the full OV4 has also Euler characteristic zero, right? Because it's uh, going to be multiple, right? And the, uh, also the, uh, if you have two OV4s, uh, sigma one and sigma two meeting on a compact one OV4 in the interior, uh, forming a two of four as a union. So then we have this uh, additivity formula. So uh, uh, so then the, this will be some of these, but you have to uh, subtract off the uh, one of four. Uh, so the reason is, of course, uh, if you just add up the sigma one, sigma two, then uh, in the between for the cells in Y, you you count it twice, okay? So you just have to remove one of them. So it's same as in the topological argument. Okay, so it's just verified by the these. Uh, so you, you have some weights, but that doesn't make much difference. So uh, so suppose we have a, a 12 4 with or without boundary, uh, has underlying space uh, X sigma and M cone points of order QI and N corner reflectors of order rj and the um, uh, order qi and uh, rj and then n uh, sigma one boundary for ob4 okay so um uh, right so so by boundary for ob4 i mean that it's a true boundary so the interior is an ordinary point but it will end at the singular uh the mirror mirror sets only okay not not at any corner reflector because uh, then so the, uh, th those will be not the boundary ones. Okay, so do you want just boundary full one over fours, or or there could be some circles as well. But uh, um, mm. so that but the circles uh, don't have a, a, a right. So I didn't really say anything about circles here, right? So uh, right, I didn't really do any punctures here. Sorry about that. So anyway, so then the, this uh, riemann hovich uh, formula is uh, useful. So, uh, so Euler characteristic of sigma is just the uh, Euler characteristic six of uh, underlying space minus these, uh, for each cone point, you have to add, uh, subtract of this point. And for each corner reflector, you have to do this uh, sum. And then these are for uh, corner, uh, I mean, the boundary full one over four, okay. And then, uh, so I guess uh, one uh, more, should, if you just have a, a circular boundary, then you have to just remove one uh, from that, okay? Uh, no, no, sorry, so I don't have to do that. So these are all counted here, so you don't really need that. So, 
Okay, you, you can allow the circle boundary here. So I, I was confused. Okay, so these are just uh, doing the uh, doubling argument and cutting and pasting. Okay, so, so this is the underlying one and then the ovipole uh, case will just be different here. So the, so the ovipole contribution is only these. Okay, so now uh, we want to do some uh, sort of a splitting and swing of two. So these are surgeries in two ovipores. So, uh, so SB uh, very good ovipores. So that's all we are concerned with here. So that underlying space has a pre-compact open surface with a pass metric, uh, admitting a compactification to a surface with a boundary. Okay, to compact surface with boundary. <laughs> So, uh, so S hat B has a be a very good cover. That is a finite regular cover of S, so that uh, S is uh, only for diffeomorphic to S hat uh, uh, by F. So, which is finite group acting on S hat. Um, so, uh, since uh, so this is uh, so this is a manifold. So you have X S hat is X hat it is also pre compact and there's a pass metric. So you can uh, complete to make a, a open su surface. So X hat the X prime uh, with F uh, with a quotient overfall structure is said to be overfall completion of S. So what we have is uh, some sort of a good overfall. Maybe it's not uh, compact but it's only pre-compact, underlying space is pre-compact, then the, you can always uh, complete it to be an ovipole, okay? Uh, so so it's an ovipole completion of a uh, ovipole. So how do we do that uh, in case? Uh, so when you have a good, a very good cover, you can do it easily by just uh, taking a good cover, and then which is, uh, uh, so, which covers with uh, some finite group action. And then the, you can complete the, this uh, uh, this covering su surface, uh, which is has a pass metric, and then uh, you obtain a um, compact surface. Okay, and then you uh, extend the F with this uh, this action, and so that will be the compactification completion of S. But of course, this uh, completion has some choices, right? So that's a real big problem. So, and then of course, how does F extend? Okay, so that will depend on how you complete this surface. Okay, so so the final result depends on how you complete this. Okay, so, um, uh, so let's say, uh, first of all, let's say you have a S2 uh, ovipole with an embedded circle or a full ovipole L in the interior of S. Uh, so then the completion S prime uh, of S minus L is set to obtain from splitting S along L. Uh, so you just uh, use that pass metric. So you, you remove some uh, one full ovipole or circle and then the, you just complete it with the, uh, this, with the metric you already had, past metric you already had, but uh, avoiding error, right? And then this is just the splitting. We call this uh, splitting. And uh, uh, so then uh, S minus L has uh, some embedded copy in S prime, the completion. And the, so if you look at the uh, uh, S prime going to S, uh, there is some boundary component L prime uh, uh, that's uh, correspond to L on the this this map, right? Ah, uh, sorry, this should be S prime, right? So it should be S prime that goes. So so uh, so uh, so there is a so when you complete it, it might have two two or uh, more copies, okay? But uh, it could. Uh, just be, it, it could also be connected, right? L prime could be connected as well. So, uh, so conversely, you, you say that S is obtained from uh, suing S prime along L prime, right? So you, you can uh, kind of uh, uh, see, um, uh, see, uh, see, see the reverse process of this, and then uh, you say it's obtained by suing. And then the, 
So the interior of the underlying space of L lies in the interior of the underlying space of uh, S, and then the uh, components of uh, S prime are set to be decomposed of uh, components along L, and we say that S decomposed uh, into S prime along L. Okay. Uh, so even for Mobius band, if you remove the center core circle, then the if you remove it, then the, you get a just a circle in, as L prime, and which will go to L on the two to one map. Okay, so that's because of the uh, if you, you if you know something about the Mobius band, right? So uh, so if L is a disjoint union embedded circle of four over for the same definition of four. So if you can uh, do you can do it simultaneously with respect to some uh, disjoint copies of embedded circles and uh, full over fours. Okay, so that's called uh, suing and then splitting. And then there is this operation called uh, silvering and clarifying. So there are two distinguished classes of splitting and suing. Okay, so a simple cross uh, curve boundary component can be made into a set of mirror points and conversely in a unique manner. So if you have some uh, cross circle, then you can make every uh, thing into uh, mirror points by just adding the, the by locally uh, modeling uh, by silvering here, silvering points. Uh, so boundary point has neighbor, which is realized as a quotient by a G2 action. Uh, generated by reflection. And also uh, boundary full o one of v four can be made into uh, a one of v four the mirror points and two corner reflectors of order two and conversely in unique manner. So, so if you have a boundary full of four, then it will end at the mirror points at the boundary. Uh, but the, uh, but then you can all make these interior into silver points and the, and the boundary has to also uh, become a corner reflector in this case, if you, uh, that's the only natural one way. So if you do, you cannot make it into corner reflectors of higher order than two because, uh, uh, because then, the, then this will destroy the local group structure uh, if you try to do it. So uh, you cannot do it. Okay, so, so the only process can be done is like this. So the fourth, Process called the silvering and the reverse process is clarifying. So, so if you putting this mirror structure is called the silvering, and if you do the reverse of that, then the, it's called the clarifying. Okay, and then the uh, we do the regular neighbors of one of four. So uh, classification of uh, Euler characteristic zero before. So let's uh, first uh, try to classify what. Uh, Euler characteristic zero will be for this. Uh, so let's take a compact uh, annulus with boundary. Then, the, uh, of course, if you take any quotient over for of this, then it has Euler characteristic zero because of what we uh, showed, right, by the covering theorem. Uh, so the using Riemann Hurwitz equation, all of the Euler characteristic zero to over four has a non empty boundary. And you can classify it to be annulus, Mobius band, or annulus with the uh, one uh, silver boundary component silver. Um, so the Mobius band cannot have a silver boundary because then the boundary will be empty. So if you have a silvering, then this is no longer a boundary, right? It becomes a, it, it will have ordinary the open cell as the model. So. So the silvering will destroy the boundary. It is no longer being the boundary, make it no longer be a boundary. And uh, so the next one is a disk with two cone points of order two with uh, no mirror points. So this is called a two-two disk. And this with two uh, one boundary component and two edges uh, is called silver strip. And then the uh, disk with one cone points and one boundary for OB4, bigon with two cone points of order two. Uh, and then disk with two corner uh, reflexes order two and the boundary for OB4. So it's called half square. So this is the diagram. Um, right, I should uh, draw this again. Uh, so you have uh, some uh, disk and then you have two cone points order two. Then the 
uh, this is four, and then five is the uh, right. So this this part is silver, right? But uh, uh, nothing else. Uh, silver, and then the next one is this. So this is silver. Uh, ah, sorry. The, uh, this is the boundary, and then this is silver, and then this. Uh, so all the two here. So this part is silver. Uh, so these are not silver, but this is silver here. Uh, then uh, finally we have uh, this here, uh, which is uh, uh, so uh, silver here, and then this is corner reflector here, here. Okay, so this is silver and silver. But th these are ordinary boundaries. So these are ordinary boundaries. Okay. So uh, uh so that that it means that this this is ordinary uh this is ordinary sets of points, this is ordinary sets of points, and this is ordinary sets. So this will be some arc we will use later. At the, uh, so this is all silver, but uh, these old ones are just uh, some uh I think that we'll use later. Okay, uh, uh Right. So, so what I did is uh, that uh, so to indicate ordinary, I draw these double lines. This is ordinary, and then it's ordinary, ordinary. ordinary. Okay. Right. Uh, okay. So the uh, way to do it is to uh, so you just have to basically go through the Riemann Hermes formula, and then the uh, so uh, so because it's order x is zero, it has to be uh, either. A the underlying space has to be annulus or the uh, um, or a disk. Okay, uh, and then the, because uh, everything else will just give you a negative number. Okay, so so if you uh, so this uh, uh, I mean the singularity will give you just a negative number as as you can see from this formula, right? So this riemann hurwitz formula. So, uh, so you just have to prove that the uh, underlying space must have a non-negative Euler characteristic, and uh, so Euler x is zero. Then the only choice is one, two, three, and uh, if you have a disk, then uh, singular points on the boundary. Then uh, okay. So I I will not go through this proof completely, but uh, anyway. So that's the idea about this proof, which is. Elementary. So, uh, so now we go to uh, regular neighborhood of a one over four. So we have some uh, circle or a one over four in the interior of two over four, as uh, not homeomorphic to a point. Uh, uh, not homotopic to a point. Okay. Uh, then the L has a neighborhood of zero or locality considering its good cover. Okay. So because uh, this L will, uh, so S has some good finite good cover, and then L will also live to uh, finite uh, some one over four, which is non-singular. So, so it will have a tubular neighborhood. So tubular neighborhood will be always order x is zero, and uh, and then it will have an invariant uh, tubular neighborhood. So the so that will mean that uh, so neighborhood will have a uh, have a order order x is zero cover. Uh, I mean, all the characteristic uh, neighborhood, zero neighborhood. Uh, so since inverse image of L is cross curves, which represent the generators, uh, and then the, uh, for, um, for one and two, L is a, a close curve representing the generator of the fundamental group. And for three, L is a mirror set that is the so, so you look at this uh, zero or classic zero neighborhood, and then the, it's only going to be the type we discussed, like one, two, three, four, and uh, four, five, six, seven, right? Uh, four, five, six, seven, and then the. Uh, so then uh, we we want to look at what L could be. So L could be in the annulus case. It could just be the center of the annulus, and the uh, in the Mobius band, it's also the core of the Mobius band. 
And in three, it could just be the um, mirror set that is the boundary component, okay? And uh, uh, and then for four, uh, L could be the, uh, this, this arc, uh, right? L could be the one that I drew like this. And then the, uh, this is five, uh, six, uh, seven, and then the, it could be this. And here, uh, it could be, I think it's the center one. I, I mean, so this, so the, I'm choosing this because, uh, in the inverse image, it has to be the core of this annulus in the, if you have a good cover. Okay. Probably the, uh, I mean, the, uh, and then here it will have to be this silver arc. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's the situation that we want. Okay. Uh, so uh, five is the arc containing uh, connecting two interior points of the edge, respectively. Six is the interior point of an edge, and then cone point of the two. And the uh, edge is uh, topological boundary connecting two corner reflectors of the two. So, so this is the situation when you lift to the orientable cover, you get an annulus and the core curve, right? So that's uh, uh, what you call the regular neighborhood of the one uh, before. Uh, so given uh, one over four L and the neighborhood N in it in some ambient two over four, uh, if N is set to be regular neighborhood if the pair is diffeomorphic to one of these. So, so that's what we call the regular neighborhood of the one over four in the in the two over four uh, group. Um, so, uh, so of course this L has to be in the interior, right? So, uh, a one over four in a good two OB4 as a regular neighbor that is uh, unique up to isotopy. So these are actually unique up to isotopy. Okay. And uh, of course you can, you need to prove that, right? So the basic proof is the existence, which you can do, right? Because you can make these uh, neighborhoods, right? Fairly easily. And the uh, Regular neighborhood always fiber over uh, one over four with fibers, which is connected one over four in the over four cent. So you can always find some uh, vibration so that the, these are, um, uh, these are uh, uh, vibration in the over four sense, right? So for, for example, you, you, you can, uh, you can kind of draw these arcs, right? Uh, like that. And then the, of course, th this fiber will be singular fiber, but uh, it's still a vibration in the general sense. And of course, here it's pretty obvious what this is. And then the, here you get something like this, uh, uh, silvering, uh, something like this. Yeah, all right, like that. Again, this is a, a vibration over this, this, this one. And then the, uh, 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 yeah, over this, uh, uh, right, so I, I didn't draw this right, so it has to be reversed, right, sorry. It has to be going like this, right? Okay, yeah, this way. All right, uh, and so any regular neighborhood can be in isotopy into one uh, inside another regular neighborhood because of this uh, vibration property, so you can just shorten the fibers. Um, and then the, you just need to use the proof of the Hirsch for the ordinary manifold case uh, adapted to this. And then you can always show that they actually, you can actually make them isotopes to one another. Okay, so that's the, not the completely obvious proof, but the, there is a proof there. And uh, so splitting and sewing, you can reinterpret this. So how do we do that? So, uh, so let L be a uh, one over four embedded in the interior of for S. So you can uh, remove L from the interior of regular neighborhood and then you obtain a union one or two open annuli or a union one or two open silver strip. So if you look at this situation, if you remove this L, uh, then the, you know what you get. Okay, so you just get some things. Uh, so it could be just annuli in the cases one, two, three, or or you can get some uh, silver strips 
so for example, if you do this, then so for, for four, you get an annulus, but for these, you get a strip. And then uh, also you get a strip in this case. Okay, and then the, also a strip. Okay. Um, so uh, two, four open annulus, one uh, union two open annulus, six, seven open silver strip, and five union two open silver strips. Okay. Uh, okay. And then the, uh, so this can be easily computed to be union of one or two uh, compact annuli or a union of one or two silver strip respectively. And then you can uh, complete, complete S minus R in this manner. So, so if you remove uh, L to obtain above types and complete and re-identify the obtain a compact orbifold. So, um, so this is uh, called the splitting of S along L, right? So, um, so what you do is you just do it in N and then you uh, re-glue to S minus L again. Okay, so that's uh, that's the process of uh, L. So for these, uh, you can easily kind of pass compactify the neighbors, right? So to make the, like that complete. So, uh, so conversely, the swing can be described by, um, so take, taking the open annual neighbor and which is a regular neighbor of L, then you find L is a circle. So you obtain U, which is N minus L, which is a union of one or two. And anyway, so we look at the situation where we already had the splitting and then the, and then you compactify those uh, and then you, uh, right. So you take, uh, uh, you, uh, so you add is a circle case and you get, uh, U is, uh, MISL. So N is a regular neighborhood. And then you take S prime with the uh, union L prime one or two boundary components, which are circles. So because it's one or two annuli, you have, you could add two or boundary components or one or two boundary components. And then, uh, you take the open regular neighbors of L prime and remove L prime to obtain B. And then the U and B are the same over before. So you identify S prime minus L prime with the uh, N prime along U. Okay, so so you look at the how, what the what this was uh, to be. So from this orbital, so if you split it, then then you can identify with the uh, other orbital in the, the what you want to glue together. Okay, and then uh, the strips, and then you you ident or, or the annulus, sorry, annulus, and then you identify those annulus with the annulus obtained here. Okay. And then you'll get a, a suing. Okay, so that's a way to obtain the suing. Okay, so that that's the process of suing in the sort of active sense, not the reverse sense. Okay. So, uh, so like the, in the one two three case, you get the one two one manner, and then the. Uh, uh, so, so in the case of one, it's just the two circles gluing together. Okay, so that's called just the pasting. And the, in the case of when you get a Mobius band, uh, when you want to identify these annulus into annulus in the Mobius band, you get what you call cross capping. So that's a topological operation. And then the, uh, for three, uh, so for the silver annulus case, you just the silvering, uh, these, these, uh, it's called, it's just a silvering. Okay. And uh, in the full orbital case, uh, you n minus l is either an open annulus or union of one or two silver strips. So you have these cases. Uh, when you have removed this, you get an open annulus, and then you move this, then you get a strips for these two cases. So one or two strips, or one here. And then what you do is you identify these uh, these things with the things inside the surface, right? Uh, and then you, that's what you call the suing. Okay. Uh, so in the type four and then type five, six, you get the one or two uh, silver strips. So in the case four, uh, you take an over for S with the boundary uh, components L prime. 
then you identify you with the neighborhood, regular neighborhood L prime, uh, remove with L to obtain a word S. Then L corresponds to full one over fold in that one to manner. So L has type one. So this is called the folding, right? So what we have is a sort of a, a circle. And then this uh, circle has so neighborhood of the circle is an annulus, but then this annulus identify with the annulus here. So which means uh, you are collapsing the circle into an one over pole like this in the center. Okay, so that's that's a called, called the folding. And um, uh, so in the type four case and the uh, type uh, five or six case. Uh, uh, five or six case. So in the uh, this case, so you have two silver uh, strips, and then you gluing this together. So that's just the uh, pasting. Okay, and then here you you get the it is again a folding. So it's uh, you have a silver strip, but you identify one upper side with the uh, upper side here. So that's a uh, gluing along. So that's a folding. And then here again, this is just the silvering. Okay, so there's a, a silvering. So uh, you need to go through this process. Uh, so uh, one thing about this silvering and the uh, splitting and sewing is just that the Euler characteristic doesn't change. Okay, and then uh, right. So I I will skip that proof. Right, and uh, so finally the identification interpretation of splitting and sewing. So so in this process, we will describe topological identification. So you have a, a boundary component B. So B could be simple cross curve of full one over four. So uh, so when when you do uh, sewing along uh, B, we obtain another. Uh, we can do sewing along B or another component of sigma. So we can do that. So. So A, when you have a circle, B circle, then the, uh, so if you have another boundary component with diplomorphism, then you can just glue these together. Okay, so the construction that doesn't construct any singular points is uh, just identification of circle. Uh, or you could also go to uh, become a Mobius band. So it, when this is different, then it's called pasting. When it's the same and F is order two without fixed point, then it's called the uh, cross capping, right? It's cross capping. And then, uh, so when the B is B prime and sigma doesn't introduce any more singular points occurring in the OB4 is, uh, so when you have sigma uh, is a circle of mirror points or full one OB4 with N points of all the, one point of order two, depending on whether B is an identity map, which is a silvering uh, order two, or has exactly two fixed points. Okay, so that's a uh, call fold folding. <laughs> so, uh, so it doesn't introduce any more uh, singularity, but the. Uh, um, uh, uh, does introduce more singular points. Okay, sorry. Uh, does introduce, which is uh, that you you remove this B and then the you you can either do a silvering or when this app is identity, uh, or when it's order two, then the you get the so you you have two sing singular points. Okay, so uh, when B B is of course a cir circle, so then you have order two. Uh, transformation you have two fixed points. Okay, so that's called uh, folding. And when B is a uh, full OB4 uh, endpoints mirror, then the um, the boundary point. So you obtain a bigger OB4 by gluing B and B prime. So if you have a different component, then you just uh, use a diplomorphism. So this is just a pasting. So it doesn't create any more singularity. But when B is the same and F B uh, attaching map, and uh, uh, then if it's identity, then it's just silvering, okay? And then the and then the boundary becomes a corner reflectors of order two, and uh, when F is order two, then the uh, new components of order two and the uh, one boundary over four removed away, so B corresponds to mixed over four, so it, this is called foldering. 
So that's the case uh, of this. So you get the uh, glue this with the order two with a single uh, fixed point inside. Okay. Okay. So that's the case and. Um, uh, so using the regular neighbor, you can uh, put what all poly corresponds to. So these are all reverse of the process of splitting, but so so that's the only way to get back the overall structure. Okay, so using this. Okay, so that's the uh, uh, end for today and uh, uh, yeah.